Pessoal, sejam todos muito bem-vindos mais uma vez ao canal de Lombra. E estamos aqui novamente para falar de Wim Hof. A gente falou sobre isso recentemente e o Thiago voltou para mostrar na prática como funciona o Wim Hof e trouxe uma participação muito especial da Vic, que é uma instrutora certificada do método Wim Hof, porque a gente vai praticar aqui um pouco para mostrar como funciona, né, efetivamente o método Wim Hof ou pelo menos dar uma noção para vocês de como que isso acontece, tá? Então deixa eu apresentar para vocês aqui o Thiago que vocês já conhecem e a Vicky. Nice to meet you, Vicky. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Be welcome here in our channel. Thank you for being here because I like it. I like talking to you. Thiago, seja muito bem-vindo novamente. Estou muito feliz. Que bom, obrigado aí por oh, aceitar valeu. o convite, Eu viu? Adoro. So Vicky, how do we start this practice? Of Wim Hof method. The first thing I like you to do is just count your breathing, and I will say now, and then you count every exhale or every inhale, one of the two, for a minute, and then I know what your type of breathing is. Uh, start now. Okay, stop. How many uh, times did you breathe? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Okay. So sitting there, actually, uh, six uh, to uh, eight breaths a minute is enough. What I ask you now is, uh, it is called the box breathing or the sniper breathing, and that is something like four counts in, four rest, four counts out, four rest. Okay. So we start now, and uh, I say inhale, two, three. Four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four. And now, Tiago, you just breathe and you count your breathing again. So start breathing and count your inhale. Okay, go. Okay, Tiago, how many times did you breathe now? Eleven. You see what the yeah. difference? You have calmed your nervous system. So uh, with this breathing, you even out the two nervous system, the, 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 the relaxed system and the, the action system. This is actually not a Wim Hof uh, breathing. It's just, an, just to show you what breathing can do. What I want you to do now, put your hands in the eyes and tell me how that feels. Not too long, just so you really can feel the cold and tell me how it is. I'm just in. You're in, eh? Okay. Yeah, this I feel, am. Feel how this feels. And it's this cold? already really cold. Really cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's already okay. really cold. Yeah. Yeah, just feel. Okay. You can get it out now. Just oh. Thank you, thank you, Vicky. <laughs> You're a good how, person. Tell us how it was. Yeah, it was terrible. Ah, <laughs> great. Yeah. Yes, I like that. I not actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, it hurts really bad. By the breathing, a lot of things happen in the in the hands of, uh, on the skin, because by the breathing you alkalize your blood, and if your blood is more alkalized, your 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 skin is not so so acid, and then uh, cold and pain are divided. Okay. You just feel more cold, not not so much pain like that. So that is a little bit uh, of a, a background. Uh, we are now going to the next uh, measurement, and that is push-ups. I don't mind how you do it, just remember, because you are going to ask to uh, do it again after uh, the breathing, and you have to have the same posture, you know? Yeah, all right, I'll do it. I'll turn the camera here so you guys can see me, all right? Yes, nice. Can I start it? Yes, please start. Yeah, you think so? So what we can do now is uh, we do the breathing exercise. The breathing exercise, the Wim Hof breathing exercise, it consists of uh, a couple of rounds. We will do, I guess, maybe three or four rounds. One round has three phases. Phase one, oxygenize uh, your blood. Just inhale. You do uh, uh, inhale powerful. 
Uh, uh, through the nose, uh, through the belly, and then uh, let go. Okay. Uh, let go. And then phase two, after you have done that 30 times, we exhale and then you wait until you want to breathe again. And then the third phase is you take a deep inhale and you hold for 10 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you exhale. And you start the next round. Okay. But first, I will help you a little bit with your hand on your uh, tummy. Okay. And feel if you inhale, do your does your tummy come out or does it come in? Out. Okay, that's good. That's good breathing. And now you can feel uh, your hands here, like uh, the sides. Okay. You feel your breathing there. If you uh, like, sort of pushing your hands away. In yeah. Here. Okay. Great. And now uh, push your hands here and take a deep inhale. Tummy, side, chest. Exhale, then tummy, side, chest. Exhale. Okay, that's good. So, you comfortable? Yeah, yeah. So, starting now. Fully in. And let go. Fully in. And let go. And the exhale is shorter than the inhale. Fully in. Let go. Last time, fully in. And let go. And hold your breath. Just wait. Just relax. Just relax. Don't have to do anything. This is the relaxing part. You have breathing in? Okay. Okay, next round. There we go. And we do a little more powerful. Fully in. And let go. Last time, fully in. And let go. And wait. Just wait. Relax. Okay. You hold it for 10 seconds, 10 counts. Third round, fully in. And let go. And we're doing the last round. There we go. Fully in. And keep on breathing, fully in and let go while you get on your knees already. Fully in. And let go and get on your knees. Fully in and let go. Yeah. Fully in and let go. Fully in on your knees. Yes, good. And let go. And put your hands on the floor so you can do push ups. Fully in and let go. And yeah, get ready. Fully in. Last time. And let 50% uh, go and go do the push ups. You don't need to breathe. Okay, now you just breathe normally and you relax. You can go to your ice buckets and put your hands in there. And just stay in this calm state. And just breathe calmly just into the nose and a bit longer out to the mouth just breathe calmly your body knows what to do just breathe all you need to do is stay calm breathe very relaxedly into the nose and longer out three two one, you can take it out. I think it starts to be comfortable. It starts, okay, great. Do it a few seconds more. Because yes, your body has adjusted. Great, great. Because that is the point. If it starts to feel comfortable, actually, you have done your training. That's not a problem anymore. It's great, yeah. I, I could stay here for as long as I want. Really. Yes, yes, that is good, that is good. I really can stay here for as long as I want, so yes. I don't think time is the point here <laughs> because I'm really comfortable. So if you want, you can take your hands out. Yeah, I think so. Wow! 
Yeah. Is it something? You know, it was very nasty the first time. You know, it hurts. You didn't like yeah. it. And now you even like it. That is the magic. At the beginning, even in these practice here, after I do all the things, it hurts. I have to concentrate hard. I was listening to you saying that my body would do the, the work that I, I haven't to do anything. At some point, I just, it was just a not problem anymore. The breathing was great. As I did it, I felt my body sleeping, my chest, my arms. And when I did it, the push-ups, after the breath, it was much easier. Yes. The first time I did it, 35 with breathing in each movement. But the second time, I did it 30 times. Without yes. breathing. Without breathing. Without Can you breathing. And with no air in the lungs, with little air in the lungs. Yeah. And did you uh, 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 stop because you needed to breathe? Yeah, That's just because it. of it. I think if you would, uh, you, you could have done 70, but you uh, have to yeah. stop because you needed air. Yeah, I just stopped because I have to breathe. It is a demonstration that you were much stronger. Yeah. Because you could have gone on if you didn't need to breathe. People at home can do this exercise alone. They can. An important thing for people who uh, do this at home and that is always do it at a safe place okay always because you you can pass out this is no problem it can happen maybe sitting on the floor or lying not in traffic and not in the car not on your bike especially not when you are just about to go into water okay not in the water not on the water not just before water keep five minutes uh, pause. Great. That's very, very important. You can drown if you do it. Great, Vicky. You suggest for people to do every day this, this work? How, how does it work, this, this routine? Yeah. What is nice, and, and most people do, is in the morning you can you can uh, lie in bed and you know, and, and just lie a little bit, or you can start the breathing. Uh, and you just uh, do in, in the morning three or four rounds. If you don't have time do two rounds because it's very important to lay five minutes to to feel and then you might do your yeah maybe you do your shower may, may, maybe you do some exercises maybe you meditate maybe you do push-ups okay it's what you like but oh it's a good way to start the day that's a good preparation for the cold shower no exactly you doing your push-up you warm up and then you feel like Actually, now I'm, I've got the hump to go yes. and to uh, jump into the cold shower. And don't forget, five minutes between the power breathing and the shower. Eu também fiquei assim, bem surpreso com a sua performance. Dá para ver que você é um cara bem atlético, assim. E tem muita coisa que ainda tem a ver com isso aí, que eu acho que a ver que em uma situação dessa não dá para falar, que a gente vai estar cobrindo nesse curso agora, de cinco semanas, que vão ser cinco módulos, é um curso fundamental do método, então vai estar tá cobrindo toda a teoria e a gente vai estar tá fazendo exercícios, né? Então, a, o exercício das mãos no gelo tem bastante teoria por trás também, é o que está acontecendo com os seus hormônios, o que dá um certo barato. Eu tive a impressão, Thiago, durante as respirações, eu até esqueci de falar para Vicky, é como se eu tivesse sobre efeito de algum entorpecente, cara. Porque realmente, Na você verdade, fica anestesiado, você fica... <risos> Num, você fica num grau de consciência diferenciado. Mas você tava high, só que tava. você tava high nas suas dopaminas que o seu cérebro produz. É. Então esse é o natural high. Imagina isso para uma imersão no gelo. Então é isso que a gente vai estar, tá, vamos dizer assim, caminhando durante essas cinco semanas do curso. A gente vai estar tá começando com exercícios preliminares e na quinta semana a gente vai fazer uma grande imersão coletiva online. É a primeira vez que a gente está fazendo o curso é, fundamental do método Wim Hof online, com uma estrutura certificada, então acho que é uma oportunidade super legal de você realmente se embasar em algo que tem fundamentação totalmente científica, respaldado completamente pela comunidade médica, e é uma coisa segura que você pode fazer para manter a sua saúde né? 100%, mais forte, feliz e saudável. Então, legal, quem quiser, mais, quem quiser mais informação, entre em contato. Tem um link aí, chavidais.net. Boa, Thiago. É And thank yeah. you very much, Vicky. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. See you. Bye, bye. Bye, Thiago. Thank you very much, man. Bye.